I'm Miss Walton from the Great Hearts Western Hills location and I'm so excited to be with you guys today. So today we're actually going to start off with a little warm up and it's called a game of sixes. I have with me an ace, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. For each card that I draw we have something that we're going to do different. So for the ace you're going to need to touch your toes, okay? For the two, you're going to have to reach up to the sky. For the three, I need you to hop up and down. For four, you're going to spin in circles. For the five, you're going to do some jumping jacks. Okay, and for the six, we're going to do arm circles. Okay, so let's shuffle these up. Five. Do you remember what the five is? Jumping jacks. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Let's see what's next. Three. Do you remember the three? Hop up and down. Okay. Let's do a different one. Four. Spin in circles. Try not to get too dizzy. Okay. Two. Reach up. Let's do one more. And we have five again. Let's do some jumping jacks. Okay. So, thanks for playing that little game with me. Um, now we're going to move on to the lesson that I have that's super exciting. It's a really cute art lesson that I think you'll enjoy. So let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about an artist named Paul Clay, who is from Switzerland. Now he really enjoyed painting cats and birds and other subjects as well, but we're going to talk about his painting cats and birds today. Uh, he was more of an abstract artist. Does anyone know what an abstract artist is? He's an artist that is inspired by a lot of bold shapes and lines and colors. So in his paintings, you're going to see a lot of beautiful, bright colors and very strong lines and a lot of shapes. So let's take a look at some of his artwork. So this is the first painting we're going to look at. So what do you notice about this painting? We see that there are several different shapes that are being used. We see circles, rectangles, squares, triangles. We notice that there are a lot of colors being used as well. It's a very colorful picture. Okay, let's look at another painting. So this one I thought was interesting because even though you see that there are a lot of different shapes being used, you also notice that it kind of looks like a face, right? Yeah. But we again see a lot of bold colors, these very distinctive lines, the shapes. It's very beautiful. So for today's lesson, for activity, we are actually going to be recreating a Paul Clay painting. And it's going to be this one. This is titled Cat and Bird. Take a minute with me and just look at the different shapes that you notice in this picture and the different colors. Just take a minute to look at it. Do you see the bird in this picture? Right there on top of the cat. So how do cats and birds normally feel about each other. Usually they don't get along that well. So it's very interesting that Paul Clay chose to paint these two together. They kind of look like friends in here, right? I think so. So let's go ahead. We're going to start the activity. You're going to need a blank piece of paper. 
a black marker, and a pencil. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Are you ready to start? You should have your paper, a pencil, and a black marker. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a border on the paper. So you wanna start, it doesn't have to be too big. And you're just gonna draw a straight line, as straight as you can get it. So now you have your border and feel free to pause the video whenever you need a little bit more time to get one of the steps done. Next, you are going to take your pencil and we're just going to make some very light guidelines that will help us when we're drawing our shape. So very lightly, do a straight line down the middle of your paper. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Do your best. Okay. So now you should have very light guidelines. Okay? Now we're going to make a sort of W shape for the cat's head. So you're going to start kind of in the corner and then come down to that middle guideline. Okay? And then you're going to do the same for the other side, or you try to match it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of connect these two sides of the face. So we're going to make sort of teardrop shapes and they need to overlap. So you're gonna go all the way down and come out over that middle guideline and then curve back. And then you're gonna do the same for the other side. Oops. Next, you're going to do the eyes. And remember, they were kind of like an oval shape. And the Paul Clay style is going to be a little bit abstract. So let's see. We're going to make it go from all the way over there to the middle. Okay, and then do the same for the other side. Next, we're going to do the mouth. So this one's kind of easy. You're just going to do one little curved line right here. And that's the mouth. Okay? And then we're going to draw the neck, which is just the two lines like this. Okay? And remember, you can pause the video if I'm going a little bit too fast. The next thing you're going to do is the nose. For the nose, we're going to have a little heart shape. Like that. 
After that, you'll be drawing the whiskers. Okay, we need to make or finish up the rest of the eyes. So now we have those small eyes. There you go. The little ovals. Okay. Finally, you can't forget the little bird on top. The way you're gonna do that is make a little triangle. Okay. Then you're gonna do another oval. You're going to do a smaller oval. Make sure you give it an eye. And then do two lines for the legs. And you can just do some tiny little feet. Okay. And then you need a little circle up top. And I'm guessing that that's the sun or the moon. And there you have your Paul Clay-like cat and bird. Now you can take whatever um, art supplies that you have at home, like crayons or markers, maybe even watercolors, and you can actually decorate it and paint it, color it, however you want. I actually did one before and I used crayons and mine came out like this. You see all the bold colors, you see those bold lines, the shapes. So this is what mine looks like. I would love to see what yours looks like. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope to see you all soon. Have a great day. Thank you.